guys, this is Jim Jacosh here. Welcome to my shop. I picked Labor Day to unveil my latest toy for the great granddaughters, McKinley and Myla. Uh, one of them's already seen it, and uh, so I'll show it to you today now that I got all the bugs worked out of it and uh, it's ready to go. I saw this on YouTube, and there's a lot of marble games on there, but this is probably the easiest one to build. That's why I built it. So, anyway, here it goes. This is a marble lifter machine, and it's made out of uh, oak and walnut, maple, mahogany, mesquite, poplar, maple plywood, and black delrin for the bushings and the rings and the pads underneath. The cams, I don't know what the cams are made out of. It was a piece I had in the barn, and I turned it down so I got one straight uh, diameter and then chopped it up to make cams. So. Uh, what this does is it lifts marbles from the far end and they go up and down. They come out here and then they alternate. And one goes this way, one goes that way. So I'll give you a shot, show you how it works, and I'll bring the camera over here and take a close up. It goes kind of fast, but sometimes it throws them off if you get going too fast. So it alternates from side to side. I'll take some close-up shots in case somebody wants to build one of these. And all the cans are rubbing on Delrin down below, so there's almost no friction of this thing at all. It really good. Okay, I'll bring the camera over and we'll take some closer shots. This is the crank right here. It's a maple wheel. It's got uh, a mesquite handle on it. And I've got Delrin bushings inside here that the crankshaft runs on and then there's spacer bushings to uh, center the cam. I didn't want to have a thing rubbing against the cam like the other machine had that I saw so this one has the holding bushings on the outside. And this is the flipper right here. This thing changes directions. And it took a little bit to balance this thing to get it to to uh, want to move from side to side. I had, I had a little shim underneath here on each side, but uh, anyway, it works out good. And I made this track. This was made out of um, oak right here. This red oak. And then down here, this is poplar. This was made out of uh, a piece on the lathe. This was one piece when I built it, and then I cut it in half and just used it for the track. Made it probably probably higher than I need to on this side, but uh, anyway, they don't fly out of there. Down below here, this is the crankshaft. There's ten cams, ten lobes on it, and uh, they go up and down. And they rub on the uh, Delrin. So here's how she works. They come up, and then they switch sides. Anyway, there you have it. See you later.